Um, because and, and again, we were talking before about that. People don't realize that actually PP is part of the Krabi province as yes, well. Yes, yes. Um, we won't go into the politics as that. I, I think it's... I uh, mean, I don't think there's much there. I mean, like, PP is just part of part of Krabi, you know, but, like, I mean, uh, it's 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 in the sea. Yeah. <laughs> so it's easy, it's accessible from Phuket as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so a lo- we get tourism from, from both places. Boats from both places takes about the same amount of time. This, uh, you were talking a little bit about the Sea Gypsy language. How does that differentiate from Thai, or is it just too complicated um, C- to? Sea Gypsy is, d- in depending on d- um, which part of the Andaman Sea, Sea Gypsy language came from like Malawi um, or Chawa um, people. They're like, m- where's that? Like northern, like Malaysia. So th- we're talking about like ancient civilization a little bit now. Mm. Um, but like a Mala- Malawian, the, the language is Malawi, like from, from like Malay. Yeah, Malay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, and, and Chawa uh, is like the Java. Gotcha. Yeah. So, so um, J- so Indonesia. Yeah. So, uh, that's kind of where these C- gypsies kind of like moved up into the Andaman Sea and they like, um, lived on the island. Um, uh, some of them on, on PP actually still you to still speak the language. Um, and the culture was there and they were, they were moved. Um, yeah, yeah, I heard. Well, no, I think everyone uh, is aware of that. Like they were living in the caves, and uh, no, that 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 was actually Thai public news, where the government came in and started to say take a hike, a bench, like had to move people out. Um, um, they've relocated them re- um, onto different parts of the island. Mm. I mean, they they're definitely still there. Um, I mean, if you're on PP, if you're staying, you should go definitely check it, check their village out. Um, you can go buy fresh fish and fresh where, uh, squids. Where is it located? Um, it's two different places in Lamtong and like one little village uh, next to Lolana. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, there's they're still chilling there. They're still like. Like fishing. It, what's stuff. the Thai name for sea gypsies? Chao Le. Chao Le. Now I'm wondering because we're, we're living in the generation of snowflakes where you can't say words like retarded and whatnot. <laughs> um, are if you use those words like sea gypsy, chao Le, is that derogatory to them or they're that's what they they're comfortable with? No, no, I think that's what they're proud of. Oh, actually, okay. yeah. Um, there's there's. I mean, we can get into it or we don't have to, but sure. Um, their their culture is actually very, very interesting. Um, I mean, one of the things that uh they 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 were telling me like when when the tsunami happened was like there's like myth and stories in that comes in song form for Shaole that actually warns you about the tsunami so they knew um like ha- about it whereas thai people living on the island at the time didn't um they like could predict it coming and, and no like they, they know what happens when the water retreats uh, okay so when that happened the first time again in phuket and that water yeah. retreat no one really understood what was going on yeah like Shaole did <laughs> well, again, so if they've been there four or five hundred years, exactly. pr- it's probably happened before. Then. Exactly. And, it. and it's passed on oh. um, usually in, in song form. Um, so if you go into a time where like it's Chao Le, like celebrations, they will like, you know, have this like mini festival where they like take all the fishing boats and like tie them all together, like just outside of PP Bay. Um, and they just celebrate. And yeah, it's oh. it's a very interesting uh, culture. Actually, it should be a tour guide on PP. <laughs> <laughs>